Global food waste. What do I mean by global food waste? I mean food that is produced for human consumption but is never actually eaten. And it constitutes about 10% of global carbon emissions. So this is a huge, huge problem. I used to hate school dinners. In fact, the mere thought of it now is taking me right back there and it's not a good place. I did not enjoy a happy school life and school dinners was just one of the things that school and I disagreed on. But getting back to food, in fairness to me, if I knew then what I now know about the wonderful possibilities of food, I think I would have been even worse at the time. But back then, food in England we are not known for our wonderful cuisine, was pretty bloody awful. And when the dinner ladies would try and persuade me to eat whatever they had put on my plate by saying, there's a starving child in Africa who would die for that food, I would think I was so clever because at eight years old or whatever I was, I would say, well, they can have it then because I'm not eating it. If I knew then what I now know about first world privilege, I'm still not sure I would have actually eaten it. But seriously, my attitude would have been very, very different. In a world where we have so much poverty and food banks, we have actual food banks in almost every town and city here in the UK so that people can actually be fed. This is 2021. Welcome to Great Britain. Yet we are wasting 74 kilos of food per person per year. And I know what many of you are probably thinking, well, it's not me, I don't waste that much food. I'm better than most. I waste a little bit, but not that much. It is like the, are you a good driver question? Something like 90% of Americans consider themselves better than average drivers. This is a similar pattern across the world and I've only singled out Americans because I have those statistics. But anyway, we are talk if we are talking statistics, 90% of drivers thinking they are above average in driving safety is of course statistically impossible. So please don't dismiss this as somebody else's problem. It is everybody's problem. I waste food, you waste food, everybody wastes food. I do actually think I'm better than most though and I do actually cry when I do throw food away. It happens to the best of us. Oh god I think I just described myself as the best of us. Please hurl your abuse in the comments below. But seriously, 74 kilos a year is just under one and a half kilos per week. And that is actually not that much. It is not as much, for instance, as simply not eating your crust. Yes, Kate, I'm talking to you. But it could easily be made up from throwing entire loaves or slices of bread away, which in the UK we do to the tune of 240 million slices every year. Or almost three million pints of milk we throw away in the UK each year or nearly 6 million potatoes, 2.2 million kilos of cheese, and that's just at Christmas, or 1.3 million apples every year. The list goes on, and often the things, not so much the cheese, but a lot of the other stuff is because we have bought too much, because we have either not planned our meals, or we have been sold on a buy one, get one free offer. There is no offer if you're going to throw one away. There is only waste. And of course, these offers are normally, although not exclusively, on perishable products, so that you only get a couple of days before the sell-by date. Sell-by date, don't start me on sell-by dates. That's a whole different kettle of monkeys. It is a sell-by date, not a use-by date. You don't have to throw it out because the sell-by date was yesterday. Really, you don't. And then, of course, there are your vegetables which if you buy them from a supermarket, they invariably come A, in a plastic bag, and B, consequently, in a minimum amount. So food waste is a massive problem. Food waste alone is responsible for around 10% of greenhouse emissions. That is five times as much as aviation and about the same as road transport. It's big, big, it's very, very big. So you are probably not better than the average driver and you can make changes by doing any of the following. Firstly, by sharing this video with your friends, subscribing to my channel and smashing the like button. But apart from that, here are a few top tips. One, plan your meals. 
two, plan your meals. Three, plan your meals. Four, don't be tempted by buy one, get one free offers. Buy only what you need. Because you have planned your meals, you can do this. Avoid, avoid buying a bag of 10 carrots when you only need three. Go to a greengrocer and buy three carrots. The cost per carrot might be more, but the cost to your shopping basket and to the planet will most likely be a lot less. Eat your crusts. And lastly, plan your meals. Okay, here we go. Why aren't people angry about this? They are postbag. And this week's offering comes from Anita from Beavers Quim in Essex. So let's hear what Anita has to say. Oh, FFS, not sure what that means. More idiotic alternative lifestyle crap. I will carry on drinking milk, eating meat and drinking alcohol. Thank you very much. Good Lord, it's anything about not drinking alcohol. Anyway. That was nice. This is a similar pattern across the world and I've only singled out Americans because I have the statistics. Statistics? Statistics? Difficult to say. But anyway, we are talking statistics here. <laughs> For God's fuck's sake. Statistics. Sas statistics. 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 Statistics, statistics, statistics.